okay here i want to show you how you can draw the cup of interpenetration of two cylinders in which we have a vertical cylinder and we have the other cylinder is inclined at an angle to the vertical cylinder so the diameter of the vertical cylinder is 50 millimeters and the diameter of the penetrating cylinder which is inclined at an angle to the vertical cylinder is 30 millimeters so just look at the way i'm going to do it you are going to understand it if you have been following me on this topic that we call intersection of solids so the first thing that you need to do is to draw a horizontal center line okay then you draw a vertical center line draw a vertical center line all right so as we have said that the diameter of the vertical cylinder is 50 millimeters so the radius will be 25 so take a measurement of 25 millimeters with your compass so put the pinpoint of the compass at the point of intersection of the vertical and horizontal center lines draw a circle like this then this is the plan of the vertical cylinder so we'll come back later and i'll show you how you can get the plan of the penetrating cylinder because it is inclined at an angle to the vertical cylinder so the next thing that we are going to do here is that from this point from this point on the circle draw a vertical line like this and from this point also draw a vertical line like this then move your t-square up and draw the horizontal line like this then let's say that the height of the vertical cylinder is 80 millimeters so this is 80 millimeters then draw the horizontal line from here like this all right so let's assume that the distance of the central axis of the penetrating cylinder is 20 millimeters or let, okay let's see 15 millimeters from this point to this point is 20 millimeters from the base of the vertical cylinder so this is 15 millimeters 15 millimeters from the base of the vertical cylinder so distance from here to here is 15 millimeters and let's assume that the central axis of the penetrating cylinder is inclined at an angle 45 degree to the horizontal that we have you are supposed to have a horizontal line here so this is the horizontal line all right so the central axis of the penetrating cylinder cylinder is at an angle angle 45 degree to this horizontal line so put your set square 45 degree set square here and draw the central axis of the penetrating cylinder so this is it all right so the next thing that we are going to do is that um so let's say the distance from here that is the length of the penetrating cylinder is 40 millimeters from here so 40 millimeters so take a measurement of 40 millimeters from here so this is 40 this is 40 so you need to draw a line that will be perpendicular to this line and that means you have to make use of your 45 degree cell square so put the 45 degree cell square here and draw the center line here okay so draw a center line here all right so this is okay so the next is as we have said that the diameter of the penetrating cylinder is 30 millimeters so radius is 15 
So take a measurement of 15 millimeters here. So this is 15 millimeters. So put this, I put it at this point and draw a circle, a semicircle. Draw a semicircle like this. So divide this semicircle into six equal parts. So you put the in point of the compass here. So you make an arc here. So put it here. So make an arc here and here. And then you put it here. So make an arc. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is that. So from take your 45 degree cell square. So because this line is at 45 degrees, uh, 45 degree, so you are also going to draw a line at this point. So let's number this. So if this happens to be, this is zero. So this is one. And this is two, this is three, sorry, so this is three, so this is three, this is also zero, so this is one, and this is two, so this is three. So we have what we have this. So the next thing that we're going to do is that from this point zero, draw a line that will parallel to this center line. So draw a line here, a thick line. A thick continuous line. So when it touch this part of the vertical cylinder, so you stop it. Then you also move it to this zero here. So draw a line, also a thick line. And then this one we also have to make this thick. So the next is at each point here from point one. So draw a thin line into the vertical cylinder so it goes like this so the same 45 degrees square squared also are two so you draw this it comes to the vertical cylinder then you move to this two here that of three is already drawn so a center line so draw this then you come to this one you also draw all right so with all that we have done here so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to pause so that i can bring out the out, uh, uh, out of the outside part or the physical part of the vertical cylinder so i'll do that and come back to explain other parts of the question all right so the next thing that we are going to do now is that to take your cell square and from this point zero here bring it to this point zero so you put it at this point zero and you draw a vertical line down here like this so draw a vertical line down then you take it to one also draw a vertical line down here like this take it to two draw a vertical line down and then take it to three draw a vertical line down here and then take it to the next two so draw a vertical line down, take it to one, draw a vertical line, and then you take it to zero, you draw a vertical line like this. All right, so we want to draw the plan of the inclined pipe or cylinder. So now I'll come back to, there are some other things that I need to explain. So the next thing that we're going to do here is that, so um, just move away a little bit from here. So move away a little bit. So this is okay. So draw a vertical center line here. So draw a vertical center line here. All right. So with that 15 that you used to construct this semicircle, so put the, comp the main point of your compass here and also construct a semicircle here like this. So divide this semicircle into six equal parts as you have done here. So this is it. So make an arc here. So put it here. Make an arc here and here. Put it here also. So make an arc here. And then you are going to alternate this numbering. So you have numbered here this point as zero. So and then we have this as three. So this will be our thirty now. So you call this point, call it three. And this is also three then this should be zero and this should be one and this should be two and 
this is one and this is two. So take note of the numbering, you alternate the numbering. So that is what will work. So the next thing we are going to do is that, now, so the next thing that we are going to do is that from this point now, from this point, so I'm going to draw the horizontal line within continuous line first. So when it meets the circle, so you stop it from point three, draw a thin horizontal center line, then a horizontal line, then from two, draw a horizontal line, then from one, draw a horizontal line. So when it meet touch the circle, don't stop it there. So from one here, draw a horizontal line, and then from two, draw a horizontal line. Like this when it touch the circle, you stop it there. So from three here also, you draw a horizontal line. When you touch the circle, you stop it there. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is that when you are looking at this pipe in this direction, this penetrating one, we are looking at in the direction. You will see a circle around here. You see a circle around here. Okay. So that circle we need to produce here. That's the purpose of projecting these vertical lines down here so you want to get those uh the the circle but you not like look like a circle it will look like it will be an ellipse it will be an ellipse in the plan not a circle but in the plan it will be an ellipse so take note of that so what we are going to do is all right to get the ellipse here so if you look at this this is line three this is line three so this is line three so you follow this line and you follow this three here this three that we have here that comes down like this so it intersect this three at this point and if you come down like this also it intersect this three at this point so take note of that so you have these two points then next we have what we have let's move to uh to two let's move to two here so this is two vertical so if you come down like this like this and you follow the two uh horizontal so we have what we have this point so we have this point here and here also we also have this point so on this side we also have two so we have this point and then here also we have this point then next we have one so you follow this one come down like this so this one here the intersect here intersect here and we also have it we have it here on this side we have this point as one and then on this side we also have this point as one so next is zero so if you follow this zero come down like this so zero vertical and zero horizontal they intersect at this point and also they also intersect at this point so we are going to join this point together to form the ellipse that is what will be the uh, the, the the shape of the circle that we see here when we are looking at this pipe in this direction. So we are going to use our French curve to join these together. So this is it. So just look at the way I'm going to do it. So you take it little by little. All right. Okay. All right. So I hope you are following. Okay. All right. So we have to learn how to use the French curve. Okay. Now, so this is what you see here. So then, so the next thing is to draw the plan fully, the plan of the penetrating pipe fully or cylinder fully. So you join this to this point. 
So draw a straight line from here to join it to this point. And you also do the same thing here. So join this together. Okay. So what we have here is the plan of the penetrating cylinder. So which is this. Now to get the curve of interpenetration. So let's get that. So we are going to get the curve of interpenetration here. So what we need to do is that if you look at this line zero here, it meet the or it meet the circle at this point. So this line one, it meet the circle at this point. And this line two, it meet the circle at this point. And for line three, it meet the circle at this point. So for zero, we have already drawn a vertical line. Now for one, we need to draw a vertical line from here. So draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line from here. So the vertical line goes like this. Okay, then from two, draw a vertical line from this. And from three, also, so draw a vertical line like this okay so we have drawn the vertical lines so the next thing is so look at starting from zero so starting from zero so this zero here now so it goes like this now if you take it vertical with this zero here so they intersect at this point they intersect here and also they also intersect so this is also zero they intersect here the next is what is one so if you go like this and then you go up vertical for one. So this one and one that comes in like this, and one that goes up like this, they intersect at this point. So the same thing applies to what we have here. They intersect here. So next is two. So if you look at two, if you come like this, and you go up vertical for two, with this two that comes in like this, they intersect at this point. And also, they also intersect at this point here. So next is three. So if you go go in this direction and you go up straight with this tip that comes in like this, they intersect at this point. So next is so you join them together with the use of your French curve. So you join this point together with the use of the French curve. So okay. So join this together like this. Then So we also join this together. All right, so this is the curve of inter penetration of the these two cylinders so one is vertical and one is inclined at an angle so this is how you can produce the curve of interpenetration of these cylinders so this is the plan and this is the front elevation with the curve of interpenetration so thank you for listening god bless you